Starting us off at number five is the world's next tallest building, the massive Kingdom Tower at the heart of Jeddah's new economic city in Saudi Arabia. The building's exact height is still a closely guarded secret, but it's expected to be at least one kilometer high, making it the first tower on earth to break that barrier. It will also be the first to reach 200 floors, though you'd never find me at that height. Getting there will require you traveling in a series of elevators because one single lift shaft and cable run to the top wouldn't be possible. The lifts themselves will be able to travel at a staggering 10 meters per second. They would be able to go faster, but any greater rate in a change of air pressure as people are transported upwards would be likely to cause nausea. Up on level 157 is an open air platform that is thought to be a private penthouse balcony. The Kingdom Tower is estimated to cost 1.2 billion US dollars. Once completed in 2020, and like most of the world's tall buildings, it will house a hotel, office space, luxury apartments, restaurants, and the world's highest observatory, if you're brave enough. In at number four is a project that's making Panama smaller and its canal a little bigger. Well, quite a lot bigger, actually. The Panama Canal has been operating at capacity for some time, with ships forced to queue on the Atlantic and Pacific sides, respectively, for entry. The new 5.2 billion US dollar project will widen and deepen the existing channels whilst creating a new channel that's 3.8 miles long. In all, the 11-year project that's due to complete in 2016 will have used 4.4 million cubic metres of concrete. Now, we're not sure what happened at number three, but it looks like there might have been some kind of disagreement at the outset about whether a bridge or a tunnel was the best way to link Hong Kong with Macau and Zhuhai. Basically, there's a really annoying 50 km gap between the three that's filled with ocean, and this project gets over and goes under that gap. An initial section of bridge spurs off from Hong Kong airport and heads out into the Zhejiang River estuary. Offshore, it meets with a man-made island and dives into a section of tunnel allowing ships to pass above it. It's then up again and onto a staggering 296 km stretch of bridge taking you to Zahai and Macau without getting wet. All for the price of 10.6 billion US dollars. I live in the southeast of England and the 50 year debate we've had about where best to position one airport runway pales into insignificance with this next project. Beijing's new international airport is currently being built on 2,680 hectares of land in the Daxing district, about 46 kilometers south of the city. The main terminal building is being designed by Zaha Hadid and will create 7.5 million square feet of indoor space. The total project is costing 13 billion US dollars and it will cater for 100 million passengers a year coming in and out across seven different runways when it becomes operational in 2019. In at number one is the UK's Crossrail. Now, its ambition of helping people get across London might seem a bit modest when compared to some of the other projects on this list, like an airport with seven different runways, bridging across oceans, and the world's tallest building. But actually, tunnelling underneath Europe's economic capital and one of the world's largest and most historic cities is no mean feat. At a cost of 20 billion US dollars, Crossrail is Europe's largest construction project and involves forming 85 miles of railway line that will pass through 40 existing and new build stations. To give you some idea of the level of technicality, one part of the route near Tottenham Court Road station passes over an existing Northern Line tunnel and under an existing escalator tunnel with less than a metre's clearance each way. The project contractors affectionately named that the Eye of the Needle. 